Hi bro, you're on Time Machine with Ted and Todd Chan. Today we dive into another story from the Einstein Brothers. Welcome, and let's go. Ben 10 is a classic cartoon and one of the most loved ones. It has a total of four seasons and 52 episodes, and in this video, we're going to talk about it and explain it in detail from start to finish. So, let's get right into it. Ben 10 started with Azmuth on Galvin Prime Planet with his girlfriend Zenith. One night, they were hanging out and he noticed that the solar system is following continuously, which inspired him to create a sword, and that was the reason for Zenith breaking up with him, because he was so caught up in his work. In the war between planets, a knight stole the sword, which eventually destroyed his planet, so Azmuth got it back and took it to Earth during the Medieval Ages War against aliens. He gave it to George, an immortal knight, and he defeated the aliens using the sword, and that was the creation of the Forever Knight who protected the Earth from aliens. Azmuth created the Omnitrix to bring peace and union and apologize for what he did on the isolated planet Xenon by collecting all the aliens' DNA in space and putting it inside the green stuff. Now let's go back to Earth. In the 70s, an organization was created to help protect the Earth from aliens under George Washington's presidency until the Plumbers Foundation took it over. In 1962, a pilot in the Air Force Army named Max Tennyson attacked a flying ship only to discover that it was actually an alien spaceship which takes the form of a female human being. After saving the female alien, aka Verdona, who was chased by another alien, they fell in love. This girl was Ben and Gwen's grandmother, and this explains where Gwen got her powers from. He then met one of the plumbers and decided to become one of them and leave for space. And that was where he met Xylene and dated her for a while after handing her Vilgax the bad guy. Asmuth was finally done with the Omnitrix and asked Xylene to give it to the greatest plumber in the galaxy, Max Tennyson. But while transporting the Omnitrix, she was attacked by Vilgax after he ran away to get the watch. So, she decided to send it to Earth. But instead of Max finding it, his grandson Ben did, because Max got older and retired from the plumbers. So, while he was on a road trip across the country with Ben and Gwen, his granddaughter, the Omnitrix watch got stuck into Ben's hand while he was wandering in the forest on their first day of camping. And it's here where things start to get real. The very first alien he transformed into was Heat Blast. Bill Gax got the watch's signals and sent soldiers after him. Using Diamond Head, Ben defeated the goons. See, cause at that time, Vilgax had severe injuries, hence why he didn't show up. And from then on, Max and his grandkids fought aliens and villains the whole summer. They then rented a boat to go swimming and discovered that there was a kraken in the lake, so Ben had to fight it, only to realize that Jonah the fisherman stole the kraken's eggs and that's why it was attacking them. They then headed to visit Aunt Vera at the retirement home and discovered that they are aliens and that they've been kidnapping the locals and taking their shapes, but in the end, they saved everyone. Bill Gax kept trying to get the watch, so he sent three soldiers and after a fight with Ben, one of the three aliens turned out to be Tetrax Shard. This guy was actually good and looked kind of like Diamond Head, and he actually decided to help Ben get rid of the other soldiers and became Ben's friend. Ben met Kevin for the first time when he helped him get the money out of an arcade game after he argued with his grandpa. Kevin used his absorption powers to steal, and when Ben confronted him, Kevin absorbed the Omnitrix's power accidentally and turned into an alien, but Ben managed to defeat him. Ben got in a fight with some criminals that led to his grandpa getting injured and going to the hospital. Vilgax also hired some criminals to get the Omnitrix, and while the soldiers were fighting with Ben, Vilgax communicated with Ben for the first time and told him that there is no escaping, even after he defeated his men. Hex, another villain, from whom Gwen got a charm after Ben defeated him, the amulet made her super lucky, and she named herself Lucky Girl. Hex tried to get the charm back, but Ben defeated him again, and Gwen let go of the charm's magic. Then we see Forever Knights for the first time, when Ben transformed into Grey Matter for the first time, couldn't go back to his human form, and was then kidnapped by a stranger who's obsessed with space. This stranger gave Ben to the Forever Knights, but Gwen and Max saved him. Now, we get to know Clancy. He's a man who was able to control insects, and he wanted to get revenge on the town's mayor because he wanted to destroy the building where he was living. 
Vilgax showed up after his wounds got healed and attacked Ben because, again, he wanted to get the Omnitrix. He kidnapped Ben and tried to remove the watch, however, he couldn't. Although Max warned Ben not to attack Vilgax, he went to Mount Rushmore to get some secret weapons from an old secret base that he used in the past to save Ben. In the meantime, Vilgax kept trying to remove the Omnitrix until Max debarked into the spaceship using his van, fought Vilgax, defeated him, destroyed the spaceship, and Vilgax, and saved Ben. After defeating Vilgax, Max revealed all of his secret past to Ben and Gwen, and that he was one of the Plumbers, which was an organization that deals with strange phenomenon on Earth. The kids also met Max's partner, Phil Billings, who was still working at the organization. Phil was a scammer and used a device that brought aliens from another dimension, hunted them, and then sold them for money. Next, a giant creature named Great One arrived on Earth and wanted to devour it, but Ben was still able to defeat it in the end. After that, crimes increased and they were committed by aliens that looked like Ben's, only to discover that it was actually Kevin trying to set him up with the police. They get into a fight on the Golden Gate Bridge that ended with Ben defeating Kevin, but not finishing him. Because of anger, Kevin turned into a freak of all the aliens and couldn't return to his human form. They fought again, but Kevin ended up losing and falling from the bridge. In episode 4 of the second season, we saw them in a different dimension where Gwen had the Omnitrix, but we're gonna talk about that later. Kevin came back to get revenge on them, and while fighting again, they get kidnapped by aliens to be used in ring fights. The two had to collaborate with each other to escape the spaceship and kill its leader while chained together. In the end, and while leaving the spaceship, Kevin tricked Ben and tried to kill him, but he escaped, left him on the spaceship, and went back to Earth. Ben and Gwen continued their adventures across the country while fighting villains over and over. Ben also managed to get some new aliens. In one of the adventures, they arrived at a camp and found a twin who was the last one in camp. Ben fought living plants and saved all the kids that disappeared, and it was there when Ben transformed into Wild Vine for the first time. The Forever Knights also came back to get an antique mask, by which they can get to the Maya's strongest sword. Hex came back after getting freed by Charmcaster just to get revenge on Gwen and Ben. At the same time, Gwen got a bracelet from a witchcraft museum that made her once again lucky girl. The bracelet had the charms of Beezel on it. Hex wanted revenge and to get his charms and power back, but after a fight with Charmcaster, she tricked him and wanted to get all the power to herself. Gwen managed to defeat her and destroyed the charms, of which one was clearly still working. Now, we get to the part where Ghost freak gets out of the watch. Ben was starting to have these weird and terrifying nightmares until Ghost Freak left the Omnitrix and tried to possess Ben's body and take over the world. He even threatened Ben by possessing Gwen and trying to throw her off the building. After a long fight, Ben figured out that the sun is the only way to defeat Ghost Freak and finished him. Animo got his hands on a piece of the Omnitrix after Ben messed with it and broke it. This twisted man used it to create alien looking animals and he even turned Max into a sticky worm. Kevin and Vilgax then decided to stand together against Ben after Kevin found Vilgax frozen in space. So together they fought Ben and Max used the null void projector to send the two into the void. But Ben ended up getting sucked in with them as well. After a long, intense fight in the void, and after getting followed by Gwen who tried to save Ben, Gwen had to make the choice between his cousin and the watch, and he almost gave it up. But Gwen tricked them and changed the watch with an empty capsule. They then go out of the void, leaving Bill Gax and Kevin there. Kevin ended up in the void's prison as an angry freak. He made a friend there who helped him control his emotions, and he really did learn how to start going back to his human form. The other prisoner had a plan to escape the prison through a tunnel underground. Kevin ran away, but unfortunately, the other prisoner didn't make it and was killed by the guards. Now we get to the third season, Max, Ben, and Gwen are still together, and we get introduced to Sublimino, the clown who hypnotized Ben and made him steal from banks. Charmcaster came back and exchanged bodies with Gwen accidentally, which led to Gwen and Charmcaster's body going to prison, but in the end, everything went back to normal and the real Charmcaster ended up in prison. In the next adventure, 
later, they were on a desert road and reached a village where locals were celebrating Christmas. The dwarfs kidnapped Max and turned him into Santa Claus, and they also caught the kids and turned them into dwarves. The village was back in the 30s when the time had stopped, and all its people turned into dwarves. Luckily, they managed to get everything back to normal. On the road, they met a wolf-looking creature that tried to attack them. Ben was bit by that creature and started turning into a werewolf. The werewolf was actually an alien and after Ben defeated him, gained him as one of his watch's aliens. The kids ended up in a video game called Sumo Slammer and they had to pass all the levels to get out of the game. They also go to a family farm to try the countryside life, but instead they found out that the cows turn into purple creatures. The reason for that was the Snaro, whom they froze later on. The Tennysons also had to fight a crazy baseball coach who created roots to play in the game. Also, a crazy scientist created a weather controlling device. They created a monster, but again, everything ended well. Later on, they hear the news that NASA's space shuttle launch was canceled due to a purple storm, so they went to NASA and met a weird scientist called Victor, whom they discovered later to be helping Werewolf and Snarrow to revive Ghost Freak, whose plan was to use the shuttle and go back to space to block the sun and take over the Earth with darkness, which would allow Ghost Freak to transform all the humans to purple creatures. But after a long fight between Ben, Gwen, Max, Ghost Freak, Victor, and Snaro, the Tennysons won, destroyed the shuttle, and went back to Earth. But before that, Ghost Freak attacked them once more, however, they did burn him with the sunlight. They then continue their journey and meet Xylene, who detected the Omnitrix's location and followed them. We then discovered that this alien was Max's girlfriend in the past, and she was the one who sent the watch to Earth after getting attacked by Vilgax, and that in fact, it was sent to Max and not Ben. Then, a robot tried to attack them, but of course they destroyed it and Ben turned into Upchuck for the first time. Then we get to the 2007 movie Ben 10, Secret of the Omnitrix, when the watch turned on the self-destruct mode when Ben was fighting Animo. Tetrax received an alarming signal from the watch and decided to go with Ben to meet Azmuth, the creator. They couldn't find him, but Azmuth's assistant told them where he was, and after a very long journey where Ben thought he might have lost Gwen, they finally found Azmuth, and to their surprise, he didn't want to fix the watch. At the same time, Bill Gax attacked them, and they got in a long fight where it turned out that Gwen was still alive and never gone. Smith then decided to fix the Omnitrix to help Ben win against Vilgax, and Ben also turned into way big for the first time and defeated Vilgax with him. In the first episode of the fourth and final season, Ben was chilling out on a normal day until he discovered he was inside of a dream made by the Forever Knights while they were trying to take off the watch. But he woke up from the dream and of course defeated them. Later on, Animo escaped from the prison and went to get revenge on Ben, but Ben turned into Ditto for the first time and defeated Animo once again. Hex came back to look for a way to preserve his youth, and at the same time, we see Max struggling with aging. Hex tried to get to the Fountain of Youth with the help of a young man, and while fighting Ben and Max, these two became children, but still destroyed the Fountain of Youth and defeated Hex. The Tennysons attend the wedding of Max's nephew, but the wedding became a mess when the bride and the groom's families fought. In fact, the two families had a long history of animosity, and the bride's family was actually aliens disguised as humans. Max's van got stolen and was turned into a weapon, but they restored it in the end. Ben got into a ring fight just to get money because he broke Gwen's laptop, but he felt bad because he won against some indebted guys who needed the money more than he did. It also turned out that Gwen tricked him into believing that the laptop was broken. And now for the last episode of the show, where the kid's cousin, Cooper, showed up. They discovered that the plumber's base was broken into in order to get the keys to the sub-energy that creates nuclear energy that the plumbers got in the past, and they protected it. It turns out it was on Mount Rushmore. They went there, but they found all of their enemies together against them under the leadership of an ex-plumber. And of course, Ben managed to destroy that sub-energy and defeated them all in the end. In another episode, which can be considered another last episode, summer vacation ended and Gwen and Ben went back to school. 
then had to keep the Omnitrix a secret, but the school got attacked by robots that also destroyed some parts of the city. When Ben went home, he found that Vilgax attacked his parents, so he had to transform in front of them and reveal his secret. Max, Ben, and his father fought against Vilgax and saved the city, and the whole city discovered his secret. In the next videos, we're going to talk about Ben 10 timelines, in a different Ben 10 versions, and mention that people knew about Ben's secret only in Ben 10 Alien Force. In the same timeline, and after 10 years, Ben became 20 years old in a world where both aliens and humans live peacefully. Ben was a hero, and he kept working and fighting all the bad aliens. Ben protected his family and rarely used his human form, and he was also to take the shape of 10,000 aliens. Gwen became a very strong witch, Vilgax was also there and still got defeated by Ben, and in this episode they went to the future and discovered that it was Gwen who requested them to attend Max's 80th birthday. After 10 years in the same timeline, Ben's son Kenneth celebrated his 10th birthday, so Ben gave him the Omnitrix. His son was a bit disappointed though, because Ben was so controlling of him, but then he met a boy named Devlin, who was, in fact, Kevin's son, and he used him to get out of the Void Prison. Devlin realized that his dad didn't care about him as much as he cared about getting revenge, so after a long fight, Kenneth and Ben sent Kevin back to prison. This was just another timeline that we could have seen in perhaps another season, but we definitely saw a different timeline in Ben 10 Alien Force and Ultimate Alien. What happened could have been different in another timeline where, say, Gwen got the Omnitrix instead of Ben, she was able to use the watch way better than Ben, and defeated Vilgax the same day she got the watch. So I'd say yeah, things could have been way different with her. Anyways, we've now made it to the end of the video. But as a send off, let's go through the aliens that Ben turned into. We had Heat Blast, Wild Mutt, Diamond Head, XLR8, Grey Matter, Forearms, Stink Fly, Rip Jaws, Upgrade, Ghost Freak, Cannon Bolt, Wild Vine, Spitter, Buzz Shock, Arctiguana, Blitzwolfer, Snaro, Frankenstrike, Upchuck, Ditto, Eye Guy, and of course, Way Big. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.